A doctor with four MIT degrees exposing the deep state's plan to make everybody panic over CV. We've got the details, but you may have heard YouTube, like other social media platforms, they are actively suppressing independent conservative news and opinion. And what they're doing is they are surfacing CNN and MSNBC over us in search results when people are looking for the daily news. Because of this, continue telling your friends and family about the next news network. And if you're new here, go ahead and tap that red subscribe button down below. Just make sure you hit that notification bell. All right. Carmine Sebia from the Western Journal reports that decorated scientists with four degrees from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology believes that CV, the CV crisis is being used by the deep state for its own purposes. Shiva Adriai, Shiva Adari, excuse me, he said on Twitter that fear mongering over the outbreak is being used to push an agenda. Here's what he said. As an MIT PhD in biological engineering who studies and does research nearly every day on the immune system, the coronavirus fear-mongering by the deep state will go down in history as one of the biggest frauds to manipulate economies, suppress dissent, and push mandated medicine. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. Wow. Biggest fraud to manipulate economies, suppress dissent, and push mandated medicine. Wow. Now, they write here that it's important to note that he did not say that the disease is man-made or a hoax. You should follow the guidelines from doctors, federal, state, and local governments, and the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention. So with this one tweet... He says here he's the inventor of email. Wow. Let's scroll down a little bit more to see what else we can find out. So he was responding to President Trump here in this tweet where he lays it all out. The fake news media and their partner, the Democrat Party, is doing everything within its semi-considerable power, and it used to be greater to inflame the coronavirus situation far beyond what the facts would warrant Surgeon General. The risk is low to the average American. That was on March 9th. Very, very interesting. And at the end of this commentary, he says... Some in the government are using the pandemic to frighten people into obedience. Think about it. What has transpired in less than a week's time? We have handed control of nearly everything in our lives to the government. In many places, they are telling us when we can leave our homes, when we must return to them. They have decided what religious services we can attend, how many people are allowed to be there, and which businesses are allowed to stay open. In the process, the global economy has crashed with the assistance of the media stirring everyone into mass panic. People are hoarding and fighting over toilet paper as if it's the cure and grabbing every canned and dry food they can. This is a very real disease. It can be dangerous, particularly to those who are immunocompromised or elderly. That said, the panic shopping and fear that many of us feel are not helping any of us. They asked the question, is he incorrect if a vaccine for coronavirus was available tomorrow? Do you not believe the government could and would mandate that everyone get it? Many would be thrilled to have it, but what about the people who decided they would not take the vaccine? Schools and workplaces already mandate the flu shot. Now imagine the government requiring that citizens take medicine that they are, all, that they are told to. If it could do that, what else could it force you to do next year, next decade, next century? We all want to be safe. We all want you to be safe and follow the guidelines as we do not know what we are dealing with. But it would also be wise to be vigilant and see the bigger picture. The doctor could be very way off, could be way off base, but if he isn't, that's a frightening prospect. This is written by Carmine Sevilla. Wow. Political pundit, editor, and writer. Featured on various television, radio program, former professional wrestling promoter, and real estate investor. Wow. That is profound. I want to go into this guy's Twitter account, though. Let's take a deeper dive into this. Oh, is this the guy that was running against... Uh, is this the guy who said he was the real, the real Indian? Truth, freedom, and health. 
I like this guy already. U.S. Senate 2020, scientist, biologist, inventor, entrepreneur, creating the future, truth, freedom, health, Cryotosol Systems, joined October 2011. Okay. First U.S. copyright for email issued his 1978 invention, 14 years old. <laughs> this guy created, the, created email. Oh, look at this. What is this? A live time for truth. This guy would be something to follow. Let's see what's in The 13th. So welcome to Dr. Shiva Live. Uh, many of you know I did a tweet about three days ago sharing my concerns about the coronavirus. In particular, what I shared was that the... I think I'm going to have to start all over again because it looks like I'm having a network error. It's saying, can people see me? Yes, no. Oh. Can people tell me if they're seeing me all right online? The choice of live streaming. Yes or no? Hello, everyone. I just want to do a check first. Hi. Oh, come on. They are non-specific. You keep elected did and was, you know, someone who literally spends probably every day studying the immune system. I have a company called Cytosolve. I run an educational institute called Systems Health, but we really educate people on the body as a system, but we do a lot of research and at the molecular level, and it's what I uh, live and breathe. Many even scientific professionals who are advising the president, many even MDs and pediatricians, really don't have a deep understanding of the immune system. It's not that easy. It's a very complicated system. And in fact, the immune system that is taught in medical schools is a system of immunity that really goes back probably to 50 to 100 years. Most people in medical school training, they don't really have a full scale understanding of the modern immune system. And what I want to emphasize to you is I want to share with you as much as what I've learned. In fact, uh, less than three, four months ago, I was asked to give the invited distinguished lecture talk at the National Science Foundation at the Center for the Science of Information on the Immune System, which we're going to talk about. But mainly today, you're going to learn some science. I want to really focus on the real truth about the coronavirus, as I've shared. We want to talk about what you can do to help your own immunity. And really, we need to have a discussion. I hope the president, if he's there, is listening to this because I want to, uh, first of all, express that Everything he has done has been the right thing, you know, you know, in terms of the basics of closing the borders, you know, and even though he was criticized, I want to share that uh, in spite of all the heat that he's getting, he's done more than what Barack Obama did and was, you know, praised for, for things that he should have done. And at the same time, he's dealing with a situation where we're dealing with the CDC of this country, which really never really address infrastructure issues. And due to their own incompetence, and also the CDC fundamentally is highly corrupt. They have a revolving door with pharma. Their entire emphasis is always on reactionary solutions, on vaccines and medical interventions, not really on promoting immune health, because either they don't understand immune health, because these guys are more interested in maintaining their positions, flying between pharma and their government positions, Let's assume we give them the benefit of the doubt that they're sort of incompetent. But today, hopefully, if they're listening, I want to educate them because that's something that I enjoy doing and that's really uh, the service that I want to do. So today, we're going to talk about the immune system and uh, everyone here is going to learn it. Uh, and this is the most up-to-date information. We're not going to go into every little detail. We don't need to, but you're going to get a deep appreciation of the immune system and then we're going to talk about what is actually going on and why this overreaction is going on and that the real infection here is the fear and uncertainty that we need to overcome as an American family uh, to get strong, to move forward. And the good news is that there's a lot of optimism that you're going to hear and uh, not only hope, but very practically. Um, what we need to be doing and the coronavirus um, opportunity in some ways is a real opportunity for all Americans to really start focusing on immune health. What does it mean to have a healthy and resilient immune system? 
And this comes down to two factors we're going to talk about. What do you put inside your body or on your body? And this is a decision that you can make. And the second thing is what are we surrounded by? The air, the water, and the food. And this is an infrastructure issue with the lawyer, lobbyists, horrible politicians that you keep electing and you need to stop electing them. It's like making bad choices have put into place a set of people who do not care for your health. And right now they're running around acting as though they care for you, closing down schools, shutting down, you know, March Madness, etc. Overreacting, and you're going to see that word come up, overreacting as an unhealthy immune system does because they are corrupt, incompetent, and they do not care about your health. So, so wow, that goes on for another another hour. That was the first uh, seven minutes or so. I, uh, I'm going to start following this guy on Twitter, see if we can get him on for an interview. Fascinating insight here from this uh, doctor. Dr. Shiva, pick him up on Twitter, and we're going to continue to uh, track this, uh, his, his insights. Comment below with your thoughts. We'll see you at the next report for the next news network. I'm Gary Franchi. Thank you for watching that report. Now, let's have a little discussion and pick it up where we left off. Remember, like I said, by the time you're middle-aged, you could be producing less than half of the collagen you did in your youth. Now, this loss of collagen explains why your skin sags and wrinkles, your hair gets thinner, joints become stiff, recovery from activity and exercise slows. In general, our bodies seem to turn on us. But with BioTrust Multi-Collagen Protein Powder, you can start defying all of these factors. This Collagen protein powder makes skin healthy and supple, makes hair healthy, young looking, and supports joint flexibility, strengthens nails, teeth, and gums, and so much more. Stay youthful and head to healthwithgary.com for up to 38% off of this incredible formula today. That's healthwithgary.com. We'll see you at the next report for the next news network. I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please, share this report, and, to get more videos like this, become the next news subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, the next news network.